Sunday. And today's story time is gonna be interesting because all my story times are interesting. But before I start my story time, if you are new, hi, I am Natalia. I post story times every Sunday. I post vlogs during the weekday sometimes. I post at least once during the weekday. And if you aren't new, welcome back. So go ahead and click the notification icon if you haven't already so that you will be notified every time I post a new video, which is at least once a week. Anyway, today's story time takes place when I was a senior in high school. And I'm gonna backtrack a little bit before, like before story time, I have to tell you guys like a little information so you guys can kind of understand the whole story time. So, I met Quincy my freshman year of high school. He was a senior, I was a freshman. And so we were, we became friends, and we weren't dating yet. We were just friends. Like we were, we were, we've been really good friend, good friends for years now. And he went to college. He moved to college here at UCF, and we remained friends. Um, I got a boyfriend. He did his stuff in college, whatever. And then I was going on tours of camp, college campuses my senior year of high school so it was october and i came on a tour to ucf and i texted him and i'm like hey i'm at ucf i'm doing a tour like we should meet up whatever so he's like okay sure so he meets up with us and he like takes me on an unofficial tour like i did the official tour but he took me like he took me on a tour of like the cool places not like the places that the school takes you because like the school just shows you like the student union the dining hall library shit like that he told me he showed me like greek row like where you get free food kind of thing you know like i don't know he just showed me different things that you wouldn't see from like a school's perspective so i was gonna say something oh by the way speaking of quincy we didn't do a video together of how we met and how our relationship came about so i will either put a card up here and i will definitely link it down below so if you guys want to see that video it's in the description box. Anyway, so I applied to UCF and I got in and this was my perfect school. I originally wanted to go to UM, which is University of Miami, because I was back home and, but it was like far, far enough that I would live by the campus and I wouldn't live at home. So I would be like close to home, but like not too close. And it was like a good school. I have a great medical school. So I wanted to go there, get my foot in the door so I could like apply there for med school. But then. I did a tour of UCF and I just loved it. You know, I just, I liked that it was near Disney, first of all. I liked that I had, all my friends were coming to Orlando, so I was like, well, I'm not gonna be home by myself and like, I don't know. And um, I liked the campus a lot and I just, I just liked it. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, but I did. So I applied, I got in and I knew I was accepted and I knew I was coming here pretty much like a while like I I applied maybe well whenever applications are due I'm not I don't remember it's been a while since I applied to college but whenever applications are due I found out pretty soon so November rolls around and my friend I think I made a name for her already I think I named her Catherine or some shit like that I don't remember um or was it Catalina it was one of those two I'll like write down on the screen which what, what I named her because I don't remember <laughs> and she was planning to come to orlando around november so i asked my mom mom can i go to orlando we're gonna stay at our friend's dorm it's gonna be a lot of fun can we please just go to orlando and she had planned to come to orlando because she had one you know like island of adventure universal tickets or something like that on the radio so she asked me to come if i wanted to like she's like i got a free ticket you can come so i was like yeah duh, i want to come like why not so she invited two other friends so it was her two other persons i had never met before i had heard of them but like never really met them and then me so we drove up here and the two girls were staying at their friend's dorm on campus so we got to campus really late and it was like maybe like midnight we called her friend her friend came and picked them up where where we were and we it can, we couldn't be four people in one dorm like that's way too crowded i didn't tell my mom this and she doesn't know to this day but she'll find out eventually i mean she's gonna watch this video um i actually stayed at quincy's house so we quincy we texted quincy and we had planned this like way beforehand that we were gonna stay at his house and he has a house not in a, a dorm so he had hit the master bedroom he had his own bathroom kitchen all that stuff so it was gonna be cool to stay there so we get to his house and we're like hanging out 
and we're kind of just like chilling it was a really good weekend by the way it was amazing um he lets us have the bed and he like cooks us breakfast the next day and we were gonna go out to a party but i this was like 2014 i think it was like the worst year of my life and i was ridden with anxiety the whole time so i was not in the mood for partying my friend the girl i was talking about she even told me the other day that she said something traumatic happened to me and i like went into a shell like and i was to myself and i didn't let anyone in and then i don't know if i started youtube or what it was but she's like watching me like bloom like like she she just was telling me how I have changed in the past couple years since that since this happened not this event the story time but like the events that i haven't told you guys about yet because i don't know how to go about this video i don't want to get anyone in trouble so i haven't told you guys the video the story yet so this happened and then i just like kind of like bloomed and she's seen how i started youtube how i've become friendlier how i've started taking up art and i've just done so much different things and she says that's kind of like a caterpillar that they go into like a cocoon is that what it's called and then they bloom they like blossom and they become a beautiful butterfly and she said that's what she's seen with me anyway back to the story time i'm sorry i get off track easily <laughs> um so i didn't really want to go out i was kind of like no it's okay i don't want to go drink i don't and i felt uncomfortable because i wasn't in, I wasn't 18 yet and they were already 21 so they could drink and all that but I wasn't even 18 so I didn't I just I was scared to be honest so his friend comes over and he's like he remembers me because when I was a freshman in high school I was kind of not I wasn't popular because I don't want to say I was ever popular but I had a lot of friends that were seniors in high school like they were seniors and I was freshman and so he remembered me from like prom because I went to their prom and he remembered me from other things so he like kind of looked at me he's like like I remember you, but like he didn't remember who I was, and I was like, oh yeah, I go. To and my friend lied to him. She's like, oh, we're in college. <laughs> it was so funny, and I like didn't like I didn't follow up on the lie, but I didn't. I was like, oh no, we're not. I just kind of like stayed quiet. And she was saying that we go to like FAU, which is another university, Florida Atlantic University, and whatever. And I just felt so bad for lying. And eventually, she told him like, I'm just kidding. Like I, I'm still in high school, but the next day it was a good day. It was November, so it was kind of cold. It was in the 30s here in Orlando. And we went to a game that day. Yeah, we went to a UCF game. So it was a lot of fun. I didn't drink, of course. It started raining, so Quincy gave me his jacket. And I got to ride the shuttle for the first time. And UCF, I think they won that year. I don't remember. But it was a lot of fun. The game was cool. We left at halftime, though, because it was raining and it was really cold outside. So we just, like, left. And plus, we had to walk to the shuttle. And there's a picture somewhere. I, I'm not going to put it up here because I don't want, like, I don't... I don't know if my friend feels comfortable with showing a picture of her. But there's a picture of it on my Instagram somewhere. And then the next day was the Universal tickets. So we drive to Universal. And the plan was we were going to go to Universal. Leave like around 5-ish or something like that. And then drop Quincy off at his house. And then drive back to South Florida that same night. Because we had it was a Sunday. And the next day was school because we were in high school. So we had to drive back home. <laughs> and so we went there we had a blast we had so much fun and then we're leaving the park and when we first started leaving the park the car is like hard to start like it was it wasn't starting easy so we're just like well that's weird so we finally start and we're like driving out of the out of the park or the parking the park or whatever the parking lot and her car like turns off so we're like shit what the hell so it's we're gladly we're at a light so we like kind of like get it to like go to the side a little bit and some nice guys stop and they like jump the car and then like follow us a little bit and like literally like we turned the light because we were turning left and we turned the light and the car turns off again and it's just it was just like we were i was kind of scared to be honest because i was like 17 and had never experienced something like this without my parents and i was still like like i feel like if this happened to me now i would i wouldn't know exactly what to do but i would kind of like know who to call and like i don't know i would just wouldn't be scared so i was kind of scared and plus my mom was expecting me home that day and i was scared of what her reaction would be so they jump the car again and we finally get it to the gas station. Quincy calls his friend, the one that we told you that we lied to. He calls his friend and his friend comes and picks me up, which was very weird. Oh, okay, okay. So we were with the two girls that we came with to Orlando. My friend, Catalina or Ka Catherine, whichever one I use, I don't remember. <laughs> My friend, Quincy, and I. So the two girls that came with us, they called their friend and that guy picks them up. And then it's 
my friend Quincy and I. And then my friend calls a tow truck to come pick up the car to take the, the car to like a Pet Boys or something like that. So Quincy is like, okay, I'm gonna go with her with the tow truck and you, I'm gonna call my friend to pick you up and take you to my house. So I'm just like, it's really awkward because I don't really know this guy. Like I know, I know of him and he knows of me, but we don't really know each other like that. So he picks me up and the whole drive to his house, it's like a 30 minute drive. We're not in silence, but we're like making small talk, which is like really awkward and I just hate. So I'm in the car. We, I get to his house, Quincy gives me his key to his room, so I get into his room, I'm just like sitting there like by myself. The tow truck picks the car up, they take it to Pet Boys or something, I think his friend takes them back to his Quincy's house or something, they get back to Quincy's house eventually. So now we have to call our moms. So she calls her mom, her mom's like, I'm driving up there now. And I, don't, I really don't understand why her mom drove up to Orlando, because we, we could have figured it out all by ourselves, like we already knew what was gonna go on. Like we already knew like what we we're gonna do next. Like we we're gonna get the pit boys to fix it the next day and then drive back down. So they drive up and then my mom and her mom get here around like 1 a.m. And like they can't do anything at that point. Like it's 1 a.m. It's already at pit boys, but the pit boys was closed because it was a Sunday. So they sleep on the floor. I don't even know why I did why I like thinking back, I can't believe I let my mom sleep on the floor. Like I was such a bad daughter, I guess. So they slept on the floor. My friend and I slept on Quincy's bed and Quincy slept on the couch. So the next day we woke up bright and early and we have breakfast, we, take the, we like go to the pet boys, we pay or whatever, it was an alternator that was like failing so they changed the alternator and I had to text my teacher telling her I'm not going to class today and it wasn't that I had class, I was like doing this clinical rotations at a hospital where I would go to the hospital, work as a pharmacy tech, get my experience so that, I don't know, anyway. So she's okay with it. I told her, well, I'm in Orlando. My friends, the car, the car's alternator isn't working. I can't drive home. We have to wait till tomorrow. I was like, I'm sorry. She's like, oh, I'm glad you're okay. First of all, like it's better that it happened in Orlando and not in the middle of the, on the, on the road because that would have sucked if we're driving, all of a sudden the car turns off or we're stuck in the middle of nowhere because there's like nothing. Like there's like a couple of little towns in between South Florida and Orlando but other than that there's like not much <laughs> so we're just happy that it happened like when we were landing we had people to come help us and rescue us kind of but i don't know why i'm being so, so boring in the story i had some coffee but like it's not helping obviously because i'm still like so like monotone and dead so yeah, it's a time that our car broke down in Orlando when we were like 17 and I lied to my mom telling her that I had slept at my friend's dorm but we really slept at Quincy's house but Quincy was an angel and we were like kind of talking at that point so it was like just normal that I slept at his house but we weren't dating yet and then after that for some reason I like kind of stopped talking to him for a little bit. Like I don't know with Quincy it's always been like on and off kind of thing like I talked to him and then I, was stop I stopped talking to him and then I talked to him and then I stopped talking to him and then I dated him and I'm not there's I don't think there's gonna be like an off point where I'm like I'm not dating him but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye I just wanna rolly 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 with a dab of ranch I already got some designer to hold on my pants I just want some ice on my wrist so I look better when I dance